program does not necessarily reflect the views of News Radio 830 KHVH, its staff, or management. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Adrian and Attilio. <laughs> We're getting like a double it. No. No. All right. So welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. If you have any real estate questions, you can reach us at 855-KHVH-830, or on the web, you can go to gokhvh.com. Well, hey, everybody. This is Attilio with my iHeartRadio app playing in the background. <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah. It was that delay. <laughs> anyway, you know, something similar happened to me while I was at a cave restaurant in Italy. Oh. I was sitting down to dinner, getting ready to enjoy my meal when this lady in the next table came over and tapped me on the shoulder and started asking me a bunch of tax legal questions. I said, those are great questions. I highly recommend you seek the appropriate licensed professional. And then I said, but mom, what other questions do you have? So if you hear anything on today's show that may be deemed as legal or tax advice, check out check it out with an attorney or CPA because today we're realtors. What are we going to be tomorrow? No, we're, we're, for the rest of the year, we'll be realtors. And, mm-hmm. and on this show, we're going to talk about real estate. That's right. So I have a quote from Jim Rohn mm-hmm. talking about failure. The formula for disaster is could plus should plus won't. Failure is not a single, (laughs) I can't even, what is this word? Where? Point to it. That one. That one is, oh, cataclysmic. Cataclysmic event. You don't fail overnight. Instead, failure is a few errors in judgment repeated every day. You know what cataclysmic sounds like? Yes. Give me a sound effect. No, it sounds like a roller derby name. Oh, it does. Kathy cataclysmic. That would be a good. Anyway, keep going with our edutainment. All right. Failure is a few errors in judgment repeated every day. Don't take the casual approach to life. Casualness leads to casualties. It's too bad failures don't give seminars. Wouldn't that be valuable? If you meet a guy who's messed up his life for 40 years, you've just got to say, John, if I bring my journal and promise to take good notes, would you spend a day with me? Inevitably is being 200 feet from Niagara Falls in a little boat with no motor and no oars. Yes. So. That would be wise words, words of wisdom. Come up wise like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. so that's our quote of the day. Now we have our success story. Yes. Okay, so we had a listing in Eva Gentry. Uh, that's out in Eva Beach. Yes. We got multiple offers on it in escrow in less than two weeks. It closed. Mm-hmm. We did have some challenges with the appraisal coming in low. It actually came in at $18,000 less than the agreed upon purchase price Mm -hmm. between the buyer and seller. So here were the possible outcomes. Adrian, what were the possible outcomes? The seller could reduce their price. The buyer could come to the table with more money. The buyer and seller could cancel and we could go remarket the home and find a whole new buyer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Any kind of variations of option one and two. So when it, one is seller reduce, buyer buyer come up, or they meet somewhere in the middle, mm-hmm. not in the smack dab middle, but it's part of the negotiation process. So what ended up happening in this case was the buyer came up, mm-hmm. the buyer's lender paid for all the closing costs, the sellers also came in with a month's mortgage payment and delayed their mortgage payment. That they would have made anyway. That they would have made anyway. Yeah. So in this type of situation, it's important not to, and I capitalized it. Know the difference between reacting and responding and make sure you got real, real working with a realtor that knows that difference. Okay. Mm-hmm. So not to react, but to respond and remain solution oriented. It's also important to have a like-minded agent who's representing the buyer in these types of situations. We were fortunate in this case to be working with one of those types of agents. 
they were solution oriented and not crazy reaction oriented, screaming and yelling oriented. Mm -hmm. They were like, remain calm, keep all hands inside the bus. That's how we do our real estate transactions. You want to talk about a property or? Sure. Let's talk about it because we've got a ton of them, so we've got to squeeze them in here everywhere we can. All right. So here is a home. I think this is going to be the the very first showing Mm -hmm. of this home because the tenant has some crazy scheduling situation. So very first open. This is on uh, Coppola Parkway. Yes. And it's 3G3. It's a townhouse out in Ocean Point in Eva Beach. It's listed at 299000 It's a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Uh, the interior square footage is a little bit over 1,000 square feet. It's a split-level mm-hmm. townhome with a little private yard in the back, so the garage is detached from the home. Okay. Nice ceramic floors throughout, and it will be open tomorrow from 2 to 5. And if you can't make it, we took tons of pictures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, and a video. And a video. So check it out at uh, teamlally.com. That's L-A-L-L-Y. That's right. Uh, most of our most of our play, uh, listings, I would say 98, 99% of them are going to have video. If they don't, it's because maybe tenant or seller didn't want that. Or maybe it was like, it was like if we took the video and you saw the video, this would be your reaction. Actually, we do have some listings where we have video and that, that was my reaction. Yes. But... Usually it's just because the occupants are not, well, not, not wanting that. Do you want to get in your car, get all dressed up nice, brush your teeth, comb your hair, shave, shower, put on deodorant, go drive all the way over there to realize when you get there that it's a <laughs> listing? Or do you just want to go and look at one of our videos from the comfort of your home and your mm-hmm. PJs and realize there that it's one of those <laughs> Listings. <laughs> I would rather do that from the comfort of my home. Gas is expensive. So speaking of listings, did you know that Team Lally lists between two and four homes per week? I did not know that. Well, of course I know that. <laughs> I'm the one that's taking the listings. Yes, it's crazy. With the low inventory, it's crucial to have a head start. We mm-hmm. have lots of homes in process. If you want to know more about our coming soon inventory, give our buyer hotline a call. That number is 234 4421 that's 234-4421, and one of our five full-time buyer agents would be happy to serve us or so serve you. And what happens if somebody's just tuning in? If they're just tuning in? Second page, top of the page. <laughs> what happens if they're just tuning in? Well, they're listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or will buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Atilio. And if you have any questions regarding real estate, give us a call. That number is 855-KHVH-830 or on the web at... Go khvh.com. I should go change that then. If that's what we're doing. We're that's, doing the that's go. That's what we're doing. That's easy to remember. Go khvh.com. That's right. That's the station you're listening to. And uh, how do you spell that? Just kidding. All right. So, a real quick um, little testimonial that we got from oh, yeah, one, of our, a nice one. one of our clients. So, this is from uh, Jake Armstrong. We mm-hmm. just uh, helped him close on his townhouse out in Hawaii, Kai. Yes. We were realtor number three. So, hi all, I wanted to write you and say thank you so much for all the work you did to sell my condo. Your team did what two other realty agencies couldn't, and I truly appreciate it. If I'm ever looking for a house in Oahu or know anyone who is, you'll be the first people to call. Thank you, Jacob. And that was quote, end quote. We didn't pay him for that or anything, or he, we didn't even ask him. He just no, sent he just it on sent his it. Own. I, didn't, I didn't realize that we were the no, third. Number, we did not. You know, I knew that we were at least number two. Yes. So... So what do they say in the luxury business? It's always better to be the, what, the second wife, the third realtor, and the first heir? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I heard that in that, when we went to that class. But anyway, we want to talk about another property here? Yep. One more property. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we'll be going to break, and uh, we'll be bringing on a guest. And Actually, it's not a, a special secret. guest. It's not a secret. It's Rick Hamada. Mm-hmm. So for all you Akamai listeners, tune in because Rick's going to be our guest today, Rick Amata. Okay, but first we're going to talk about this other property that we have. It's out in Makukilo. It's mm-hmm. at the uh, Makukilo Hale 2. Yes. We have it listed at 279000 It's a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. It's on 90, 92 Panana Street, unit number 19. Mm-hmm. And uh, it has about 1,200 square feet of living space. And just awesome, awesome views of of Diamond Head, the coastline, ocean. Um, 
and it's vacant and easy to see. We did have open house on it last week. And, um, oh, <laughs> yes. What? Oh, the maintenance fees are, mm -hmm. are pretty reasonable on this. I'm having a hard time finding them, though. Oh, well, four, this, $475. Yeah. And we just found out that there's a pool. Yeah, that's pretty cool because uh, the owner was telling us about this pool. Mm -hmm. It's unobstructed views all the way to Diamond Head. Mm -hmm, Unless there's some heavy fog. Yeah. So, anyways, we do have a video of this of this town home, so you can go check it out at teamlally.com if you want to. And if that's too many letters, just go to co go, go K B H go K H B H. How do you spell that? <laughs> Duh. All right. Well, don't go too far. When we come back, we're gonna have uh, Rick Hamada on as our special guest. I think guest. it's Rick Hamada Jr. the third. Okay. Richard David. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so don't go too far. Looks to kill. Time is passing. I'm asking, could this be real? Cause I can't sleep. I can't hold still. The only thing I really know is she got sex appeal. Hey, Sean Hannity here with some important news for home sellers. The marketing plan that your realtor uses for attracting buyers is critical to create demand to sell it for the most money possible. In Honolulu, the realtor you need to talk to is Adrian Lally of Team Lally, who has a national marketing program to guarantee to sell your home at a price and a deadline that you agree to, or she'll have it bought for cash. Now, while the average agent attracts few buyers a month and sells less than 10 homes a year, Adrian, on average, attracts hundreds of buyers every month and sells homes each and every week. If you're not happy along the way, she lets you fire her and pay nothing. Call Adrian Lally of Team Lally today at 227-2703. That's 227-2703. Or go to the web, TeamLallyRealEstateShow.com. That's TeamLallyRealEstateShow.com. And don't forget, by the way, check out Team Lally Real Estate and the show every Saturday morning right here on KHVH. Are you a veteran interested in purchasing a home? If so, you qualify for the great benefits allowed by the VA Home Loans Program. Benefits like no down payment required, reduced closing costs, and flexible qualifying guidelines. Hawaii VA Loans is Hawaii's VA loan specialist who can educate you on all these benefits and help you get on track with being pre-approved for a VA loan. For more information on how you can tap into this great resource, go to HawaiiVALoans.com to download their free 24-page ebook as a special bonus after downloading the informative guide. You'll be instructed on how you can earn a $1,000 closing cost credit on your next home purchase. So what are you waiting for? Get your free VA loan ebook and earn a $1,000 closing credit by going to HawaiiVALoans.com or give them a call at 792-4251. That's 792-4251. Trying to find the best of the best Don't settle for an agent that's just like the rest Pick a team that knows just what to do From buying or selling, we work hard for you Team Lolly, the best real estate in the island 227-2703 if you're looking for an outstanding insurance agent that will personally help you during the moment of truth, we recommend Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. So, Atilio, what do you mean by the moment of truth? Well, the best insurance is the insurance you never have to use, but we know that's not how life works. So when life happens, you can count on Bradley and his team to exceed your expectations for your insurance needs. Keep in mind that when buying a home, the cost of home insurance should be taken into consideration. I trust Bradley with my own personal home, so you should give him a call. Call Bradley with Allstate Insurance at 591-801. Welcome back and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian and I'm Atilio, and today we're talking about real estate. All right. Do we do? We, we don't need to do it. By the way, we're going to go straight to the uh, yes. inviting our guests in. So let's invite our guests. You know, so uh, for our guests, we, we, one of the things we tell our guests is, "Hey, relax. Don't worry. Don't get all super nervous. You're just coming on the radio and and pretend you're talking story with us." <laughs> but I wasn't going to do it, but we got to do it anyway. So we yeah. tell them, "Pretend you're coming over to our home." Oh, Adrian, <laughs> is there someone at the door? 
Oh, it looks like it's Rick Hamada. But he's a trained pro. <laughs> Not at all. No training whatsoever. No training. All right. Well, Rick, thank you so much for coming on and being our guest today. It is a pleasure. This is uh, this is great to kind of be on the other side. So mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. It's good yeah. to see you guys. Yeah. Yes, you too. So, Rick, we have some questions for you. So, sure. Rick, we're on the up, on other side. Usually, you're the one that's doing the interviewing. That, that part so. is true. <laughs> I have my lawyer on line one, just in case. So, if he needs to jump in, we'll be okay. All right. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, those kind of questions. My mom asks those kind of questions yeah. all the time, those legal questions. Okay. So, Rick, yeah. how, how did you get to Hawaii? How did I get to Hawaii? Um, I was uh, in the cruise business for years. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was um, in the latter stages of a contract in Puerto Rico. So I'm in San Juan, and I'm working for a company that's based out of Miami. There's a fellow that came on the ship at the time, and I was part of the crew staff then. And he said, boy, you ought to go check out, you know, Hawaii, because mm-hmm. you look like you're from there. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they have a great, uh, they have two good ships, and they do Inner Island, and they're looking for good people. And I said, let me give them a call. So I'm in Miami now. I give a call over to American Hawaii Cruises, mm-hmm. which was uh, the two white ships, the Constitution and the Independence. Mm-hmm. Called up uh, and chatted with um, a lady by the name of Susie Kaeo, Mm -hmm. and we had a great conversation. She said, well, give me a call back uh, when you have some extra time. I did, and she hired me right on the phone. Oh, wow. It was awesome. I said, wow, I'm heading out to Hawaii. Now, I'd been to Hawaii before, but uh, this is a great opportunity. And so I took the summer off, and then my contract started here. Spent two years uh, with American Hawaii. As soon as I arrived here, I went, you got to be kidding. This place is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And I'll always remember when I came off the plane mm-hmm. to come to work, I knew right then that it was it was all over. This, this was is uh, This is it. And turned out to be exactly that. And how many years is this now? You know, it's about 25. 25 years. About 25 or so, around in there. That's I came right. here when I was four. It's an amazing story. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> After year 24, in the year 25, you are officially local. So when we do uh, This is Rick Amata's Life, we're going to bring a yeah. guest on, Susie Kaeo. Where is she yeah. today? <laughs> <laughs> she was a sweetheart. She, I, I have to tell you, it's funny when you f- first impressions. Susie came out. Rawr! Yeah. She was married to a fellow named Bill Kaeo who had um, an auto parts store franchises yeah. and lived in Hawaii Kai. And when I first came out, I had a ponytail. Oh. I had my hair was really long working in the Caribbean. I'm young and and all of that. But as soon as I walk in the door, she stands up and she just goes, "He's got a blank ponytail." Oh. She was horrified. <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, okay, okay. I'll go. I'll go." So I had to get the uh, yeah. Lose the ponytail. Had to lose it, man. Had to lose it. Well, the uh you know, we, we, we've been going to Maui once a week, and, and we, we call them the stern aunties. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones yeah. like, you should have came earlier to the airport. Why are you guys coming last minute? Yep. And we just, they're like, what kind of customer service is that? That's, you know what? That's Hawaii. <laughs> That's Hawaiian style. That's called the stern auntie. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe he has that beep ponytail. That's exactly how it came down. Yep. That was it. That was a beautiful time, though. It was a great yeah. time. So being in the, the cruise industry, how did you transition into the radio business. Yeah. B- before I came into the cruise biz, I did radio and also DJed nightclubs on the mainland. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. And at the same time doing that, I worked for, believe it or not, banks. I was oh. in the data centers. So I was a project analyst and then became a project manager. And mm-hmm. basically, I was responsible for the relocation of data centers. Mm-hmm. So I worked for a couple of different banks, one of them Citicorp. And so I'm, I'm reaching my mid-20s by that point, a couple yes. good projects under the belt. And I said, this can't be it. I mean... Is this it? I'm done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the, you know, two weeks vacation, have a condo, drive a Beamer, have a girlfriend, and mm-hmm. that's life. My life, it's charted. And so one New Year's Eve, I went to my friend, who was also my boss. I said, uh, I'm resigning. Yes. I got to go. And um, I did. And you and, left. And I left. And then I concentrated, I did uh, FM radio in the Bay Area, and then had that opportunity to go on the cruise lines. So as far as radio goes and background and such, my mom, uh, who's who, who passed away three years ago this mm-hmm. July 4th, yeah. uh, she worked for our local newspaper in the Midwest mm-hmm. where I grew up. And along with that, a friend of ours had a local radio station. Mm-hmm. So believe it or not, my mom would write for a newspaper and then also do morning radio. Very small, small town, small market. But that was my first you know, inkling that this would be something really cool to do. Yes. So as a kid, I emulated that. Would go down to their studio, this, mm-hmm. that, and the other. 
Mm-hmm. And then uh, years later, it wasn't until uh, after school when I made it to California where I got an actual real radio job. Wow. And uh, fell in love with it, influenced by so many people in Chicago, Illinois, great signals like WLS Radio, you know, K, um, uh, KCBS in San Francisco. And so to be able to actually do radio as a career now yes. and having done so now for almost 20 years, a blessing, absolute blessing. Yeah, one of my favorite radio shows is uh, This American Life, and mm-hmm. I know they're out of Chicago. Yep. W something something BBS. But There's anyway, a WBBM maybe. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. They're they're I always listen. They're on every Saturday on on uh, NPR, but uh, they have some good. That's good sto- stuff. It's episodic radio, is what they call it. That's right. And it's so engaging. I listen to that stuff all the time. Well, a lot of the key to good talk radio, if in, in that format. Uh huh are great stories. Yes. Mm-hmm. People love to tell and love to listen to stories, mm-hmm. and especially if there's some sort of empathy that comes out of it, association. Mm-hmm. So we try to do that on the morning show quite a bit. And the other thing is is being honest about your opinions. Yes. And just being frank and forthright and, and come what may, you know, instead of hedging your bets and, well, I see both sides. Well, you have a good point. No, 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 no. You, you know, listen, this is what I believe, and this is how it is. <laughs> and if you like it, great. If not, there's 38 other radio stations yeah, you can station. choose. <laughs> we call that giving them, telling them the what's what. <laughs> the what idea. What's That's what? Right. We're like, what's what? That can be used in so many different ways. Yeah. Again. But anyway. It's good stuff. All right. So, so Rick, what, what do you like to do for fun besides radio and, and cruising? Wow. That's about it. Sorry. No. <laughs> I love golf. I love, I love to play golf. golf. Love golf. Love my kids. Love to hang out with the kids and do all this stuff at their uh-huh. age. Mm-hmm. You know, they're with me today, as a matter of fact, in the studio. And Zoe turns 10 next month. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, I can't believe it. 10 wow. years. Zach will be 13 Uh-oh. in January. He's a preteen. He's a preteen. <laughs> he, I got to tell you, man, he is a great kid. They both are. But, again, I'm worried about that prepubescent age, and I'm always... Yeah. Zach has he's got it together. I got to give him credit. He's a very, um, a very respectful young man and excels in school. Just got his report card. He made the honors again. Oh wow! Uh, and this for the entire year. And and Zoe's doing remarkably well. She's effervescent and engaging mm-hmm. and and has a wonderful personality. And I'm just blessed that you know our kids are who they are. Yeah, but that's what I love to do the most, hang out with them. We always get to run into them every once in a while in the green room. The it's, green? Not, it's not green, it's red. It is red. <laughs> Even Zoe goes, how can they call it the green room? Yeah. I said, just take it, you're okay. <laughs> yes. Enjoy the big screen TV and mm-hmm. that's yep. it. Your iPhones and things like yeah. that. Yeah. And then uh, Zach, he plays basketball. He too. does. Uh-huh. Yes, he does. Loves it. Out okay. of everything. I feel like we're doing the radio version of a slang book. You know, in, in elementary school, we used to pass these books around, and then mm-hmm. every page would have a question. Yeah. What's your favorite color? We'll say, what's your name? <laughs> Line one would say, what your name? And then you go to the next page, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite dessert? And then, the, like, page five would be, who do you like? <laughs> so people would go to page one, where they would go to that page right away and yeah. say, who do they like? And then they'd flip all the way back to see whose name that was and say, oh. Oh, so we're doing, we're what do we like have a, here? We're doing the radio version of the slang book. We're asking all these questions of Rick. I so love Rick, it. Rick's slang book. Okay. we got more questions for We Rick. do. Yes. All right, so Rick, what, yeah. book, what book are you currently reading? Right now is A Good Walk Spoiled. It's an older book, mm-hmm. and it's about uh, life on the PGA Tour for those who have just started their careers. There's this remarkable thing called a Q school, which is a qualifying school, so if you don't uh, make it onto the regular tour by winning or money levels, then you have to play to qualify. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in order to get on, oh, it's like the worst, the most arduous, gut-wrenching experience because your professional life depends on how well you play during those five rounds of golf. Wow. And if you don't close the deal, mm-hmm. you're done. You're done. You'll have to go to one of the lesser satellite tours, maybe Uh the web.com tour, go back to your club if you're a club pro. Uh But that's critical and crucial. And then once you do get your card, you only have it for the one year. So then you have to earn it Mm -hmm. the rest of that year to come back. And if you don't hit top 35 in money or win one tournament, which gives you a two-year exemption, then you've got to go back to Q school. Oh, wow. It's like, That's brutal. Back to it's back terrible. to go. Let's go back to go. So, yeah, we were just talking about that the other day. You know, what's one of the more nerve wracking experiences you've ever had? And I can imagine that would be. It's astounding. It. Five rounds of golf, and that's it. 
Because I know sports with you guys too, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know with you have a bout tonight, right? Yep, at six thirty. Right at six thirty. Roller derby. Roller derby. And then and whatever it is that you that you engage in that you play in, there's always that little bit of anxiety. Mm-hmm. But with golf, it's it's kind of perceived to be well, just grins and giggles, and you go out. It's not really a sport. I hear that all the time. But when you're standing over a putt this long, yeah, and you know it could mean tens and tens of thousands of dollars, or whether or not you continue in your career, yeah. That putt becomes really long, and the nerves and it's a lot of pressure. Mental game, man. It's all between the ears. And you know, it's opposite. I play on a men's soccer team, and it's uh, I have the record for missing a goal, being the closest to the goal. I was literally with within a foot, and I totally shanked it. <laughs> oh, so, don't say shank to a golfer. <laughs> and it, just, it just went wide. You know, and the and the, the goal in a in a in a soccer game, it's huge. It's like big. Oh, like massive! Big, yeah, it's like big like the Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally flubbed it. Guys were giving me a hard time, but actually, the, I didn't play the next weekend, and someone actually even got closer and missed it. No so kidding. They, they actually, my record was short lived. <laughs> <laughs> it's a record that we wanted to be short lived. <laughs> yes. Classic. All right, well, it looks like we have to take a quick break for yes. the news. Breaks? Yeah. What are those? Just a quick one. Don't oh, go too far. Oh, my goodness. Don't go too far. Well, We're yeah. ask a couple more questions. We have more questions Rick. for Rick. We're ready to go. Atelier is up. He's actually doing the dance. <laughs> That's astounding. But where do you get where do you get soap bubbles at this time of morning? <laughs> and the disco machine. That's right. The News Authority in Honolulu is News Radio 830 KHVH. It's 80 degrees, mostly cloudy in Honolulu. I'm Julia Norton Dennis. Here's what's happening. Investigators are looking into family connections to determine what led a man to kill his brother and father before going on a shooting rampage across Santa Monica, California yesterday. The killing began at a Santa Monica house where neighbors say a man lived with one of his two sons. The house was set on fire and two bodies were found inside. It ended up at a college campus with five dead, including the gunman. A Florida judge has suspended a hearing to determine if voice recognition experts will be allowed to testify at George Zimmerman's trial. The delay comes after one expert was unable to testify because he was stuck at an airport. The hearing will resume Monday and will be held along with the first day of jury selection in Zimmerman's trial. He has been charged with second-degree murder for fatally shooting 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in February 2012. A Honolulu police officer in his 30s is in critical condition after his vehicle was rear-ended by another car in Makaha last night. The driver of the other car then hit a third car. The driver who caused the crash was arrested for drunk driving and is in serious condition. His passenger was also injured in serious condition. The Colombian naval ship ARC Gloria arrived at Aloha Tari yesterday and will be docked until Tuesday. The Colombian Navy is opening the vessel to public tours from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Today, tomorrow, and Monday. All ages are welcome, but visitors must wear comfortable clothing and footwear and be able to climb ladders. The 97th Annual King Kamehameha Floral Parade began at 9 this morning at King and Richard Street, traveled down Alamoana Boulevard and in- onto Kalakaua Avenue, ending at Queen Kapi'olani Park. More than 50 units are participating in the parade this year. Sunny and breezy with a high in the mid-80s tonight. Partly cloudy, a low near 72 and tomorrow partly sunny. Currently in Honolulu, it's 80 degrees. I'm Julia Norton Dennis. When buying, selling, or owning a home, we suggest that you have a home warranty from Home Warranty America. Avoid building appliances in your next real estate transaction. Team Lally offers free sellers coverage on all our homes. Give us a call at 799-9596 so we can tell you how that works. When you're trying to find the best of the best, don't settle for an agent that's just like the rest. Pick a team that knows just what to do. From buying or selling, we work hard for you. Team Lolly, the best real estate in the island. 227 2703.
In every real estate transaction, there is a virtual silent partner, the escrow company. They are there to make certain that the transaction keeps on track and that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. We like working with Hawaii Escrow and Title. They close our transactions on time with professionalism and aloha. We're happy to recommend Hawaii Escrow and Title for any escrow and title services, providing Hawaii's community with exceptional escrow and title services since 1972. Check them out on the web at H-E-T-I-N-C dot com. That's H-E-T-I-N-C dot Hey, hey, listen, folks, before we jump back in, here's yet again another great success story from Adrian Lally and her team. Now, we all know this. Not everyone has a house they're trying to sell. Some of you folks may even have uh, condominiums to put on the market. Well, this success story is about a Waikiki condo, and here's what happened. Adrian Lally listed a Waikiki condo, and after just a couple of days on the market, that's just two days on the market, Adrian had two full-price cash offers. Now, even better than that, the condo closed and are you ready, just 10 days. That's right, just 10 days. Now, these success stories results, uh, they speak for themselves, but what you need to do is give Adrienne a call. Call today. Find out how Team Lally can help you. And remember this, that Adrienne Lally guarantees to sell your home for the amount agreed to by the deadline you set, or she'll buy your home for cash. Do this. Give Team Lally a call today, 227-2703, so they can help you too. And be sure to listen to the Team Lally radio program every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon here on KHVH Radio. Party people! Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Atilio. And today we're talking with Rick Hamada. He was just doing an awesome backspin just now. Yes. To that music. <laughs> you know, the one thing, i got to tell you, you guys play some bumping music. Yeah. <laughs> we heard that we have the coolest bumper music. That's pretty good stuff. <laughs> Not too bad. Well, we have Steven's help. Yes. There we go. Our awesome producer. Amen. Big props to Steven. All right. So, let's see. All right. So, we have a couple more questions, Rick, for you before we let you go and get on with your weekend. Yay. Yes. And hanging with Zach and Zoe. That's Zach right. and Zoe Day. The Zach so and Zoe what, Show. So, what differentiates you most from other radio show hosts, would you say? Massive size. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably... <laughs> I would say it's just pure energy. <laughs> um, I, You know, that's a great question. I never really thought about it. I, th- I think it's, um, one, I don't have a formula. Okay. There mm-hmm. are others that, you know, they have a very specific... Format. Format and, posi- and, and steady diet of whatever their agenda might be. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I look at it more like uh, I'm a facilitator. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm here to bring in information, dispense it, and facilitate it, yeah. and and just promote that exchange. And but as I said before, to have a to have a very specific, profound opinion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is absolutely essential. And you'll see that with most national hosts at the local level. Sometimes you don't see that, yes. mm-hmm. you know. And that's I think that would probably be the biggest thing with me. I mean, it's even my wife and I talk about it. She goes, you know, because I'll get the emails or the calls, and she goes, doesn't it bother you? And I'm like, absolutely not, because that means that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes. Presenting a program that is maybe a little bit provocative, mm-hmm. but hopefully it's informative at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I think Rick is a decided person. You're a decided person. That's one of the quotes that we live by on a day-to-day basis. Definitely. But uh, I had a question, but it escaped my mind. I forgot what I was going to ask. And you, you know what? I just forgot the answer, too. <laughs> Doggone it. Yeah. Well, well, we can come back to those questions and answers. We do have a, oh. we have a, a fun question for Rick. Oh, yeah. Go with the fun question because then All I know, right. I know All right. that I'll remember my question later. Okay. So tell us about the <laughs> most wackiest caller that you've ever had. Wackiest caller. It was a guy that called in and he oh, forgot what question he was going to ask you. <laughs> oh, that was and that was recently, by the way, <laughs> about a minute ago. I got, I got to take. Maybe it's not wacky, but it's the one one that stands, stands out. out. I actually had somebody threaten my life on the air. Oh, oh wow! I mean, it was just full on. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like you, I, when you walk out, you better turn around because there's going to be a bus run you down, oh. and I hope you this. And I'm, I'm like, I was what really, I'm, I was it's not that I was a scared or concerned i'm going dude seriously you're getting you're losing it that much over wow. conversation and what then, was it that you said his, that made his, him his mom's in the background going <laughs> russell get off the phone already <laughs> <laughs> you pet get off the phone 
<laughs> no, that was crazy. But I've had f- some folks that would come out and they'll sing, <laughs> just bust out in a song for no particular reason. I do that. Um, and and but that's that's pretty much it. I, and I think because of the format we have, yeah, we got pretty straight shooting folks. But yeah, that one that one call about oh yeah, and that oh, and then there was one guy that we got into a thing. Uh, debate, sort of. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he, it was clear that he wasn't interested in really. He was just trying to set me off to the point where, toward the middle of the call, he goes, "Did I get you mad? Oh. <laughs> Did I get you angry?" <laughs> and I'm on the other end, going, "Are you kidding me?" Yes. Click. Yeah. And moved on. Yeah. So, but we get them all. We have all kinds of great callers. All fun. I know. Now I remember the question. Okay. You know, speaking of, we have five listeners, and we want to kind of turn them on to your <laughs> to your format. Well, there. we have four now because I'm here, so, yeah. And my mom calls in, she, you know, because I, but anyway, so, <laughs> so we want to turn our five listeners on to your format during the week. I, 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 you know, I'm self-employed now, so one of the things, and Adrian and I, we tell our clients, by the way, here's our little secret. The reason why we never book an appointment before 10 a.m. and or after 3, because we don't want to sit in traffic. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we're not really busy. We just don't want to sit in traffic. So we're not in that. When I used to work in Mapuna Puna, lived in Kapole, and I used to drive in, and I used to right. listen to you Monday through Friday. So I'm not real familiar with your with your with your format during sure. the drive time. But I remember you said like the mayor was on. Mm-hmm. And yep. What's your format during the week? Uh, start up Monday during the seven o'clock uh-huh. hours, where I try and and have consistent destination programming. Okay. And with some really good folks. Uh, Mondays is uh, C Square. His name is Chris Coughlin. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's out of D.C., former uh, Bush administration official. He also has done international work. He has a consultant and management firm. Mm-hmm. The man is the smartest man that I know. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, on any topic, any conversation. So he's inside the Beltway. He lives uh, in Virginia, outside of D.C. He uh-huh. works around the whole D.C. vibe. Dude is awesome. And we have great conversations. I learned from him. Mm-hmm. He's uh, just phenomenal as a, as a guest. And then Tuesdays, Panos Prevedoros, Dr. Panos. Yes. He's in every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Blessed to have him. Yeah, that's a sharp guy. He is just as sh- exactly sharp mm-hmm. as they come. And when we talk about issues, especially about our community, yes, nine times out of ten, it's going to come down to infrastructure. Like you said, mm-hmm. I don't, we don't want to travel during those kind of traffic so bad. Yeah. My water bill is high. Electric is, mm-hmm. too, is through the roof. Potholes are all over the place, et cetera, et cetera. He knows it all. Uh professionally and Mm -hmm. from being here. Wednesdays is open because it used to be reserved for Brian Schatz and the administration. Okay. So the LG would come in, and but then when he was appointed to Senate, we offered it to him to remain, and unfortunately that didn't pan out. So I'm still trying, and Kirk Caldwell, I'm not on his Christmas card list Uh after this last election. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not sure. But the invitation is always open to Kirk to come in and fill that spot. Uh Thursdays is Colleen Hanabusa. State mm-hmm. representative, and and I appreciate her coming in. We differ philosophically as mm-hmm. much as humanly possible, and she knows our audience will too. But she'll still come in, share her views and ideas. She is our representative, and I think it's a great segment. Mm-hmm. Fridays, I bump it up now to a new segment called Goodfellas, mm-hmm. uh, nine o'clock, where we just get together with some friends and just talk. Okay, no agenda, no topicality. It's as similar as if, you just know. Just like this. We're just yeah, talking you're story. Just talking story. Hanging out. Well, it's good, fellas, though. It's, it's like, good. what are you talking about? You looking at me? No. I'm not. You looking at me? I thought of running that clip with Joe Pesci. How did I so funny? You know, and I just, <laughs> that might be a push. So yeah. we have, we, I like to just broaden it out and have a good time with it. I remember on Fridays, you used to let people call in and either, like, wants or needs or, I don't know, I forgot what it yeah. was. Yeah, it was, was called. A, ago, uh, a couple of years ago. Spotlight, uh, spotlight on small business and Tradio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tradio. I That's got that from was. mom, to be honest with you, because oh, her yeah. station did it 340 years ago. Yes. You know, <laughs> and it, the basic concept, hey, listen, I got some stuff I need to sell. You know, I'm looking to buy something if anybody's got. It was it was so cool in the day where before corporate radio, which we mm-hmm. have now, yeah. to be able to do that because I think it really helped a lot of folks, and I would still get I'm glad you brought it back up. So yeah. we have comments from folks about how their business was helped or mm-hmm. they realized and it was a good outlet for them. Yeah. But, yeah, thanks for – yeah, that was a while ago, but, yes. Boy, now memory lane. I Bring know. Bring memory lane. There it is. And memory lane, take a right. Do you still call them the Akamai listeners? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I had a call this last week. You know, it's the Battle of Midway anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yes. One of our callers, Alan from Lanikai, 
He knows it all. <laughs> boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, about the entire battle, the players involved, the consequences, the outcome. His whole front yard is a one-eighth scale of Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts Christmas lights on it during the holidays. People drive by, he charges emissions. But That's it. That's how he makes a living. There were, do we have some more questions? I oh, you I know what? So we, 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 I always want to talk about success stories because yes. Mr. Hewn. Yes, I was about to talk about him. Let's yeah. talk about Mr. Hewn. He is one of your Akamai listeners. All right. He is. And, All right. And we, he's, a, he's a conservative. Conservative. He's very upfront about that. That was like one of the first things that he First thing up. that he said. Yeah, he's about for him. He's, he's in his 80s, and it took a couple meetings to, to get him to want to list the home. It's a property that's been in the family for what? I don't know. 80 plus years. Wow. 80 years. I don't want to Legacy sell. property. He was like, I don't want to sell. But no, nobody lived there, you know, no kids, and he has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. She's and cute. Uh, I remember, him, I distinctly remember him saying, you know what, um, I heard you guys, you know, Rick talks about you guys, and uh, this is why we're having this meeting, it was McDonald's Mililani. Best place to have a meeting, they have Wi-Fi. Yeah, and he would, and, no, he's real old school, he, I mean, we got to mail him the contracts, you know, like in the mail, no, mm-hmm. no email. Right. He's the kind of guy that you call him, and he's like, Mr. Hewn, are you ready to talk right now? No, 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 I'm, I'm walking down the street. Or I'm driving. I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. You cannot talk right now. <laughs> Call me back. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Love it. And and so yeah, we no, we got him in, got his property in an escrow. But what opened up the the chink in the armor there for his conservative nature was, was being Rick. one of your listeners. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's a great story. But we were able to help him. I mean, he had um, there's a lot of stuff on his property. Yeah. Right. So as soon as we listed it, though, we had multiple offers, and we're opening escrow, and he's. He's very pleased. Excellent. Yeah. To Excellent. Be moving, to, move, to be moving on. With yes. his, Thank with you his for life. taking care of him so well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Fantastic. It's our pleasure. I know. He's, he's a great example of the wonderful audience that we have. And yeah. it's been a blessing for, as I said, almost 20 years now. And when I first started the program, you know, the buzz around town is never going to last. Mm-hmm. You know, what do you mean? Conservative talk radio, local radio? Yeah. In this market? You're <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> never. And I'm... Just so very grateful and thankful to uh, to folks who take time to listen in. Now, it's how amazing. Long you, how long have you been on KHVH? It'll be 20 years, uh, 20 years 2014. Really? Wow. Yeah. So you just only did the four years in the cruise business here and then just moved on? I just did a couple radio. years and then uh, did a lo- local radio here, local mm-hmm. clubs, and then began my, in 1994, mm-hmm. uh, started here, answered an ad in the newspaper mm-hmm. for an intern. Mm-hmm. Started interning, yeah, and then it just kind of went from there. So in the in your younger days, that's what I wanted to say. You were a banker by day, and then you had that shirt that you ripped open, and it said DJ. And <laughs> DJ by night, I'd rip the shirt open. I didn't have a shirt on underneath. It oh. was a tragedy, <laughs> tragic. But it was. It was kind of like, um, yeah, it was almost a schizophrenic thing. So you banker know? by day, DJ by night. Then you said, Mom, I'm going to Hawaii. Got to go. Be a cruise director, and then you said, I'm done with this cruise thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cruise on the radio, and here we are. Well, the crazy thing was is I, I literally took a job and had to be there within three days. Wow. wow. Um, I, was, I had the condo and the whole thing, and, and I liquidated within a matter of a couple of days. Asked a couple of buddies to take care of the rest. Mm-hmm. Got the call on a Wednesday. was in Tampa Bay on mm-hmm. Saturday and started then, yeah. and it was really it was the best thing I ever did. Best thing ever because the education and the... I think travel is really enriches your perspective on life and everything else that you do. And the kids come as mu- as often as they can. And yes. They're very well traveled at an early age, so mm-hmm. they can understand the world outside, especially when we live on a on an island. I think mm-hmm. it's important to have that. And so, yeah, it's it worked out uh, very well. And you still get to go cruising every once in a while. Right? Amen, sister. Amen. You came back from a. An awesome cruise, I, I do heard. You do like we one did. A, do you do like one a year? Or do you multiple ones? Multiple ones we, try, we try one per year. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year was one year we took a break because the elections were so, it was just a crazy election year. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, this year we already have one planned for 2014. Okay. And where's that? Worry. Is it a surprise? It's a, it's a toss-up right now. It, okay. And we're going to put it out to our friends where mm-hmm. they would like to. I'll just mention that one is to uh, start in Istanbul and sail the Greek islands, Uh Mm -hmm. and then end in Athens, and the other is uh, an Asian uh, itinerary. It could be anywhere from Hong Kong or take it literally down to uh, maybe Australia, New Zealand. So when these people sign up to go on these cruises, are they all like um, waiting outside your cabin door saying, hey, we're going to breakfast? What's going on? (laughs) No, see, I 
I don't have my own cabin. I stay with each of the listeners. Oh. You cuddle? We pick a oh. night. It's the cuddle cruise. It's a pillow. Don't worry. It's a pillow. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> We have a great time. We had yeah. a great group on this last trip. Holy smokes! So you lead you lead the the Ricamata conga line <laughs> at dinner every night. That's it. Actually, well, we we double that up with lambada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the one you go under the pole. What's that called again? Limbo. 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 That's it. I am the pole. That's <laughs> the frightening part. And I heard you guys are doing some Opa Gundam style over the <laughs> oh my gosh. off the coast of France. Uh, that's that's frightening to think of. Oh man. Okay. Well, do we have any other questions for Rick before we let him enjoy, enjoy the, the rest of his weekend? And was Zoe and Zach? Was that? Yep, we're heading out. I'm going to open a bank account for them today. That's oh. our oh, awesome. That's our big thing. They got a lot of savings, so we're going to get them into a bank and teach them all about money, all that good stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Credit scores. Yes. That's all right. It. Don't go too far. When we come back, we have a couple more properties to talk about. Some real estate. But thank you, Rick Amada. Thank, thank you, Rick. Thank you You're guys. Awesome. This was fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places to live with our gorgeous weather and perfect tropical climate. It's the ultimate paradise. However, pests love living here just as much as we do. Pests like cockroaches, termites, ants, and even rodents thrive within our very own home. Keeping them out is important for the safety of your family as well as the structural integrity of your home. Let Kamaina Termite and Pest Control keep your home clear of these unwanted pests. They offer smart, reasonable, and effective programs for your property. With more than 30 years of experience, let the Kamaina team protect your investment. Call them today. Today for a free estimate at 591-9997. Again, that's 591-9997. One of the things we recommend to get the most value in regards to getting your home ready for sale is a professional cleaning, and the cleaning company we recommend is Spots Cleaning and Maintenance. Give Flo a call at 383-5843. They are licensed and insured and can do residential and commercial cleaning. Look, folks, I'm a certified clean freak. Just ask my beautiful wife, Regina. This is the only company I trust to clean my own properties. We recommend Fidelity National Title Insurance Company for your next real estate transaction. Through its nationwide network of direct operations and agents, Fidelity National Title provides title insurance, underwriting, escrow, and closing services to consumers. Check them out at FidelityNationalTitle.com or FNTIC.com. Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Attilio. And we're talking about real estate. We're rocking it. That's right. We're Here's rocking the in the real estate today. All right. So. All right. Bring up the house lights. <laughs> it's time to go to work. That's right. All right. So, hey, if you want to know more about our Guaranteed Sell Program, just give us a call at 799-9596 or go to guaranteedsale.com. If we yes. can't sell your home at the agreed upon price and or time frame, we'll have your home bought for cash. Oh, we'll just play music and dance. That's you. All right. We so can do both. I want to share with you an autopsy of a lost listing. We've probably just got time for that and then straight into the finishing her up. This is a forensic review of an accident scene. It's an example of how sometimes we make emotional decisions as opposed to logical ones. Mm-hmm. Hey, folks, I'm not saying emotional decisions are bad ones. What I'm saying is it's an okay way to pick your spouse, a sports car, or which ride you go on when you go to Disneyland, but it's a horrible way to pick your realtor. Okay, so follow me on this. A logical decision is based on the facts, and an emotional decision is based on ignoring the facts. For example, Adrian, and uh, do you know I have motion sickness? Um, I've, I've heard that. You've heard of it. So I've, if I, I've heard that you have it. Yeah. So if I go on a roller coaster at Disneyland because mm-hmm. it's fun and exciting, that's an emotional si- decision. Yes. But logically, I know if, I, if I'm in the first car, all the riders behind me <laughs> are going to be sprayed with bits and pieces of my lunch. Gross. And your point is? Oh, nothing. I just <laughs> wanted to talk about roller coasters and bits and pieces of my lunch. That's gross. No, not really. My point is this. We had a client choose another realtor, and here were the facts. 
How many homes do we sell per year on average? Over 100 homes per year. The other realtor sold probably a handful. How do I know this? I looked it up. Mm-hmm. Our marketing budget is what? $16,000 a month. Okay, so I'm going to let the listener extrapolate the math on that and what they think the other realtor's marketing budget. Again, we sell over 100. They sell a handful. Mm-hmm. We have a team of how many individuals on our team to serve our clients' needs? We have 12. 12. 12-person 12 12 team. The other agent is a solo agent. Mm-hmm. I can go on and on with these apples to apples comparisons. In the end, I would have to conclude that the seller went with Here's my analogy. She went with the med student. This is an analogy. She went with the med student when she could have had the surgical team from the Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Therefore, she made an emotional decision, not a logical one. Those are the facts. I rest my case. So don't list your home with us. Why do I say that? At least give us an interview. At least give us an interview. Let us help you make a logical decision. I honestly think she was just um, a very nice person and just too chicken to tell the other agent. Yeah, she didn't want to hurt their feelings. Here's the deal. That's that's just my take on it. At the end of the day, folks, it's your home. It's you know when you go you. to Vegas and you ask the dealer for all kind of advice? And your money. At the end of the day, they're all going to tell you, it's your money. That's right. It's your money. Okay? It's your home. Make the best decision for you and your family. Be honest with you, if there's a better real estate realtor or real estate team other than us, go with them. Mm-hmm. Don't go with us. It's go about you, it's not about us. It's about you. Okay. Properties. Okay. One last property here before we end our show. Yes. All right. So this one is out at Haolu Landing, and we have it listed at 499000 That's up uh, Makakilo. Take a left on Palahia. Yep. It's that little first neighborhood on the yes. right-hand side. They're uh, pretty new homes built in 2007. So this home has... Three bedrooms, two baths. It's all on one level, but you do have to go up a, a flight of stairs to get to the the main level, the main living level. And there's about 1,600 square feet. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful home. Granite countertops, um, upgraded appliances. There is no fridge, though, so you'd have to go get that. But at this price, 499000 that's B-Y- the awesome price. B-Y-O-R. Bring your own refrigerator. <laughs> so it's going to be open tomorrow from 2 to 4, and Roberta is going to be out there sitting Oh, and then there's also some, some pretty nice views out of the, the front bedroom. Hey, we got one last minute. Oh, you keep going? Um, I would like to talk about our um, oh, our wild the, card and the community events. Well, hit the community event. Let's get that one in there. we got All a right. bout going on tonight. Yeah, tonight roller at, the, derby. at the Palama Settlement, there's a roller derby bout at 630. What's your roller derby name? It's Lally Gag Her. So you're going to see Adrian Lally, a.k.a. Lally Gag Her. I'll be out there. So a Pacific Roller Derby's uh, business team is matched up against the Echo City Rollers and Aloha City Rollers. So Aloha City Rollers and Echo City Rollers are combining forces to skate against the Pacific Roller Derby. All right. So go there. Be there. Be there. Aloha. So we have a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. There's an epidemic sweeping across the nation. It's kind of scary. We hope it's not happening to you. And it's called lazy butt-itis. I don't have a sound effect. (laughs) <laughs> if it were if it were in Wikipedia, it would be defined as a serious lack of motivation and a condition of listening to the Lazy Song by Bruno Mar. <laughs> so if you or someone you know is suffering from this condition, please have them go to the following website. What is it called? Get off your butt and do something dot org. Again, that's get off your butt and do something dot org. <laughs> Okay, if you're thinking this is all, that was all serious, we totally made that up. But hey, if it made you chuckle, that was the whole point. Because it's all about edutainment. And you know what? You got to get off your butt. If you want to live longer, have a better quality of life, get off your butt and do something. Dot That's com. Right. Uh, it was dot org. Dot org, yes. It's for, it's for the public. That's, That's right. <laughs> all right. So we are ending our show here. So uh, thank you for listening and thank you to our sponsors. Denise Kaehu with Hawaii Escrow and Title. Kay Bame and Jim Owens, Hawaii VA Loans and Home Loan Financial. Alana De La Cruz with Kamaaina Property Management. Mike Metz with Kamaaina Termite and Pest Control. Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. Flo and Frank with Spots Cleaning and Maintenance. David Sobel with Home Warranty America. Matt Fortier, Fidelity National Title and Escrow. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, just go to TeamLally.com and check out our business partner page under our link section. We also want to give a big thank you to Steven, our producer here in the studio. Chee-hoo. I make sure to tune in next week. We're going to have an awesome guest talking about something that will change your life forever. 
This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program. If we can't sell your home at the agreed upon price and terms, we'll buy it. Thanks. And aloha. Glenn Beck, sending you a message. Weekdays at 4. It's all going to be good. KHBH Honolulu. I'm here. Hawaii's home for Fox News.